The Kiss Modern Family The Kiss is the second episode of the second season of the American sitcom Modern Family and the 26th episode overall. The episode aired September 29, 2010. It was written by Abraham Higginbotham and directed by Scott Ellis. The episode also featured guest starred Aaron Sanders as Jeremy, Alex's love interest. The episode serves as a response to a criticism for the first season that Mitchell and Cameron never kissed. In the episode, after Claire finds flooded texts from a boy on Alex's phone, she asks Haley to give her advice. Haley tells Alex to kiss the boy, which makes her go up to the boy and asks him in front of his friends, embarrassing him. Mitchell is having trouble kissing Cam in public and Gloria makes a meal of traditional Colombian food to honor her recently deceased grandmother. The kiss received generally positive reviews with many praising the subtle nature of the kiss. According to the Nielsen Media Research, the episode received a 4.6 rating slash 13% share in the 1849 demographic, going down from a season premiere but still becoming the highest rated show on Wednesday and the second highest rated scripted program after Glee. Part. At the Dunphy house, Claire Julie Bowen accidentally reads Alex's text messages to a boy named Jeremy and asks Haley Sarah Howland to talk to Alex Ariel Winter about them, while Phil Ty Burrell helps Jay with his printer. Haley gives bad advice to Alex, saying if she does not kiss the boy, the people will think she's a lesbian. Alex runs to Jeremy's house to tell him about her feelings and asks him to kiss her before realizing Jeremy's friends were behind the door and heard everything. She proceeds to run home and learns that Claire went through her phone, making her furious. Meanwhile, Gloria Sofia Vergara starts cooking traditional Colombian meals in honor of her recently deceased grandmother, which Jay Edonia makes fun of. After realizing that Gloria is upset, Jay decides to help her cook, whereupon Gloria uses tricks to get revenge on Jay. Whilst shopping for a new shirt, Mitchell Jesse Teller Ferguson rejects a kiss from camera and Eric Sturge G, prompting a confrontation about Mitchell's problem with public displays of affection. Mitchell retaliates by commenting on Cameron's neediness. Soon the whole family comes together to honor Gloria's grandmother, but the party turns south when Mitchell avoids another kiss from Cameron. The family then realizes that Mitchell's aversion to kissing in public is due to Jay being emotionally closed off. Phil then runs down the stairs after printing a picture of Gloria's grandmother for Jay. Jay's response creates more evidence why Mitchell will not show PDA. In order to shut them up, Jay kisses Mitchell then Claire with Mitchell and Cameron kissing in the background. After the party, Claire finally tells Alex the truth about her past. Alex is still initially angry but then becomes happy again when she and Jeremy decide to wait before kissing. The episode ends with an epilogue by Gloria. Production and Cultural References The Kiss was written by Abraham Higginbotham and directed by Scott Ellis. It is Abraham Higginbotham's first writing credit as he is part of the new writers who joined at the beginning of the production season. The episode guest starred Aaron Sanders as Jeremy, the boy Alex likes. Abraham had previously worked with Jesse Tyler Ferguson on the short-lived sitcom, To Not Disturb. The episode was also the fourth episode made and was filmed during late August. The episode originally aired September 29, 2010. The episode deals with some criticism from some quarters for the first season's portrayal of Cameron and Mitchell as not being physically affectionate with each other. The criticism spawned a Facebook campaign to demand Mitchell and Cameron be allowed to kiss. It was also criticized by Ryan Murphy, creator of Glee who called it ridiculous. In response to the controversy, producers released a statement that a season 2 episode would address Mitchell's discomfort with public displays of affection. Executive producer and co-creator Stephen Leviton has said that it was unfortunate that the issue had arisen, since the show's writers had always planned on such a scene as part of the natural development of the show. Eric Stone Street, who plays Cameron, says the episode isn't driven by anything political or motivated by a movement. The episode later had a rerun on October 1, 2010, the Friday after its original airing. Alex states a quote from Notting Hill, and later calls it an underrated movie. Cameron makes up a game called Kiss Buggy, a parody of Punch Buggy. Ratings In its original American broadcast, The Kiss was viewed by an estimated 11.877 million viewers and received a 4.6 rating slash 13% share. This means that it was seen by 4.6% of all 18 to 49 year olds and 13% of all 18 to 49 year olds watching television at the time of the broadcast. This marked a 12% decline in the ratings from the season premiere, The Old Wagon. Despite this, the episode became the highest rated show on Wednesday and the third highest rated episode of the series so far. The Kiss was the most watched scripted show for the week of broadcast among adults aged 1849 and the 24th most watched show among all viewers. Reviews The Kiss received generally positive reviews from critics. 
Eric Stone Street, who plays Cameron, called the episode smart and perfect. Joe Keller of TV Squad gave the episode a positive review, naming Full Squeal Gas like a girl when Jay asked him for help with the printer the best moment. Donna Bowman from the AV Club called it a pretty solid episode, giving it a B. Leslie Savage of Entertainment Weekly stated tonight's episode brought on the last slap the chicken, but it also managed to be touching without leaving us feeling queasy. She also named Ed O'Neill the best part of the episode. Jane's pony was a cuff time like the main plot and its subtle nature, but wished the rest of the episode around it had been stronger. Alan Sepinwall of Hitfix praised the fact that the kiss was in the background comparing it to better than the ghoulish episode of Cougar Town. Tom Moore said of the Dallas Morning News stated in his review the episode was full of really funny moments. Matt Rush gave the episode a positive and praised Cameron's pratful calling it perfect slapstick.